If you are new, my name is Victoria. I would love to have you subscribe and stick around. Today's video... Baby! What? He walked in! Today's video is going to be a different kind of video from me. If you guys have seen these going around YouTube, they are kind of what's for dinner style videos. It's where someone will film themselves making food all week and showing the recipes that they're making. Kind of like sped up, not a more detailed version. And showing what they made for dinner that week. So, I got this idea from The Welder's Wife here on YouTube. So, you guys should totally go check her channel out. I will link it down below. She does these videos every week. And I love watching Watching them because it gives me lots of dinner ideas and this week I only made three dinners because it was me and my mom she's here visiting and so I showed you the three dinners that I made I made buffalo chicken pasta and then I made spaghetti squash with turkey meatballs and then my last meal that I'm gonna show you is stuffed peppers so if that is something that you would be interested in then let's go ahead and get started get this recipe started I am getting out my kasori pressure cooker and I'm going to be cooking my chicken this is my favorite way to cook chicken so I'm just putting a little bit of water at the bottom to steam it and then I'm going to be sitting the raw chicken right in there and then spreading it out and cooking it on the poultry setting for 30 minutes <music> The next thing I'm going to do is cook my penne pasta. Okay guys, if you have never tried to shred your chicken with your handheld mixer, I really suggest trying it. This was my first time ever doing this and it made it so easy. As you can see, the chicken just shred so easily and right away so I will never hand shred my chicken again. Here I am just adding the cream cheese, ranch dressing, hot sauce, and mozzarella cheese into a bowl. And I'm also going to be using my handheld mixer to mix this all together just to make it easier. And I will leave exact measurements down below in the recipes. together in this bowl. I kind of wish I would have put it into a bigger bowl, but that's okay. After this, I'm going to add in the pasta and mix it all together and add it to the dish. to mix all of the stuff together when it was in a bigger pan, so I definitely suggest putting it into a bigger bowl when mixing it all together. So here you will see me putting a plethora of cheeses on top of my dish. Um, I was just using the cheeses that I had left, so I used some cheddar, some Colby Jack, and some mozzarella, but mostly I was using mozzarella, which is what the recipe called for, but you can kind of just use whatever cheeses you like on top. After I added all the cheeses, I put it in the oven and baked it for about 20 minutes, I think. I will link the recipe down below, but guys, this was delicious. It was basically just buffalo chicken dip added to pasta, and I put broccoli on the side.
This is one of my favorite meals in the world to make. It's so easy, so I'm just taking a spaghetti squash and cutting it in half like you just saw, and then I'm just going to scoop out the seeds. Next, I just put it on a baking sheet and I am brushing it with some vegetable oil, but you guys can use whatever oil you would like. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper and then put it face down on the pan. So feel free to cook your spaghetti squash in the crock pot or pressure cooker, but here I'm putting it in the oven for 50 minutes. So here I am putting some spaghetti sauce. This is just the Great Value brand in a pan on the stove and then my mom decided she wanted more so I added more at the end. And then I am putting some frozen turkey meatballs in there and I'm just adding what was left in the bag. And then I'm going to stir it up and heat that up until it's ready to go. This is what your spaghetti squash should look like. It will scoop out just like that, like noodles. And this is what it looks like. We just put the sauce and meatballs on top and had some salad on the side. It is delicious and low carb. So for my stuffed peppers recipe, I'm starting out by putting rice in my rice cooker. And you always want to do double the water for the amount of rice that you have. And I'm just using brown rice here, but you can use whatever kind of brown rice you would like. And I am cooking it on the quick rice setting. Now moving over to my stove, I am just adding some oil in my pan and I am cooking a pound of ground turkey. Honestly, this was way too much and I could have gotten away with using just half a pound, but depending on how many stuffed peppers you want, you can judge that for yourself. so she just cut off all the tops and then scooped out the seeds in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and season my ground turkey. So I'm using taco seasoning. I like to buy the big jar of it as opposed to the little packets. So I'm just doing about two tablespoons and then I'm adding a little bit of water and I'm just going to mix that all together. So these are all of the fillings I'm going to be using for the peppers. I have rice, lettuce, sour cream, tomatoes, cheese, and salsa, and of course the ground turkey. So I'm going to fill these up and then about five minutes before they're done in the oven, I go ahead and put the cheese so it doesn't burn. And then I add the sour cream and the salsa afterwards. about 15 minutes and then once I add the cheese I do it for about five minutes more but this is what they look like they are so delicious and this is a really easy healthy meal for a weeknight okay guys I hope you enjoyed that video if you did make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and commenting down below if you guys would like me to do this again in the future please let me know I had a lot of fun filming this video because my mom helped me a lot so thank you mom for helping me film this because it would have been really hard without you. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. What am I doing?